Okay, this is a series of short videos for my web animation class. In this class, we're using Trinket to write some HTML5 JavaScript for creating a game. Now, the book that I use in class is Foundation Game Design with HTML5 and JavaScript by Rex Vanderspuy. I really like the book and the way he uh, basically lays out chapter by chapter, builds from one chapter to the next, and only uses pretty much pure JavaScript to make these games. However, the games and the code is very, um, I'd say basic. Uh, it's, it's designed for a beginner and that's why I like it. It's perfect for this class as an introduction to HTML5 uh, animation and graphics and interactivity. He does have a more advanced book for more uh, advanced uh, coders, uh, scripters, who want to work with games, and that's Advanced Game Design with HTML5 and JavaScript. So I'm showing it here, it's excellent. So in this video, we're on chapter six, and this is where he introduces Canvas, as well as some other programmatic elements in JavaScript, like objects. So let's take a look at it. I've got my trinket here, and I've already named it, and we're gonna use an image in this first activity at the beginning of the chapter, chapter six. So I'm gonna go down here, and we need the monster image. Now, I already had a monster image, so this one's monster2.png. So this is different than from how it may be named in the book. If, if you're using the book, it's, it's important how these are named. So I have already uploaded this to Trinket, right? I've already uploaded my new image. It's got a name. I have to be very careful what the name is. I'm going to select it and add it to the game here. All right. So now I'm ready to write the code. All right, so we're gonna start off by just basically introducing Canvas, the Canvas element. So the way he does this in the book is he does some shorthand for HTML. He doesn't use all of the HTML tags. He just does kind of a quick setup to get started. So let's see here, we'll put in the title. I'm gonna say Canvas here. Um, and let's put the full one. So in the book, he says displaying an image with canvas. All right, I'll drag this over here. I'm going to change this auto run to click to run so that it only renders on the right hand side when I click here. All right, and then he goes right into his canvas tags, which would be in the body basically. So canvas tag is an HTML5 element. Let's see here. And canvas is, you can use an image tag to draw images to the screen, but if you're planning on doing interactivity or games and you need quick loading, quick moving images, then canvas is an excellent source. So this is gonna be a small little graphic, 64 width by 64 height and that's our canvas and it's just an empty canvas an empty tag you can see the end tag right there and now he goes right into the javascript so for the javascript first of all var canvas he connects a variable named canvas named the same exact name and then ties it to the object in the HTML5 in our web page, which is our canvas tag right here in the body. So document dot query selector. And we just point it at the canvas tag. All right, excellent. Then I'll, I'm gonna move this over here we're going to set up another variable named drawing surface. This is the, the variable name that he uses in the book. He's pretty consistent chapter to chapter. And we're going to point it at our canvas variable, which is tied to our canvas tag in our HTML5 document. And we're going to say get context. So there's a 2D context to canvas, whoops, no spaces, and a 3D context. We're going to be doing 2D graphics, so this is just the 2D version. All right, now 
next a variable for our monster image and that equals a new image object with a capital I this is built-in JavaScript object for loading images dynamically so you say alright monster image then since the monster image takes a little bit of time to load we're gonna say monster image and add an event listener which is a built-in method it's a built-in object uh, method so add event listener capital E capital L and we're gonna say this event is gonna be on load call a function called load handler he uses uh, the same type of function name every time either a click handler or a load handler and then he writes a function that will handle this situation on load all right so load handler false and then monster image sets the source of the image which is the path to the file name and the path since we're in trinket is just there's really no path it's the same directory so it's just monster in my case 2.png since that's the actual name of the file all right so now i'm going to put these all together the monster image is a new image object Add event listener on load, we're going to call load handler. The source of the image is the PNG file. And now we need that function load handler. All right, so that's what we have so far. Okay, so here we go here's the basically the meat and potatoes of this whole thing we're gonna now access our drawing surface which talks to our canvas and our drawing surface variable capital S we're going to use the draw image method so the draw image method is this is the heavy lifter that's going to draw this image to the screen so this right here this draw image method now what do we have to do we have to say okay what image are we going to draw it's going to be our monster image which we've basically loaded with this new image object and so we'll say alright monster image and then we can pass it the X and Y location. So we'll say X zero, Y zero, which will be the upper left hand corner of the image, basically. And let's see here. Let's let's uh, let's run it. All right, and there it is. Now, in the next few pages in the book he goes into great detail with a little bit more information on how the um, the the draw image how this draw image f method uh, some of the other settings basically and the one that I like the most is where he takes this and he takes these these parentheses here where you pass the arguments and I like the way he formats it here so I'm gonna do that so monster image and I'm going to he puts in some comments here and I think this is effective and he says okay this is the image right there's a, a comment so the image on the next line he says this is the, the source image right so the source and in the source you have basically the values let me put this down here so draw image all right so this is the open parentheses the end of the parentheses and the semicolon so the source 
has basically you have to set the x value the y value the height and the width so he explains it really clearly here now this is the x and y position of the source image file if you were to say hey i've got this image file and this is what it looks like the png file it's a square image the x y on the source image file as well as the height and width in other words you can draw your box on on the image to say how much of it do you want to draw so if this was the image right here you know the x and y what you know do you want the whole thing do you want the box for the whole thing in this case right you would then say well x and y starting at zero and then the height and width the whole height and the whole width but what if you wanted to just draw the eye well then you'd have to move over x a few pixels and then down a few pixels and then height and width you just want the height and width of the eye and that's what he shows you in the code which is pretty nice then not only can you set the source on the source image but you can also set the destination in the canvas so where do you once you've said I, I want to target this eye now where do you want to put that eye because the canvas right here the canvas is a separate drawing pad it's like a drawing surface a piece of paper so where on the piece of paper do you want to set that eye so that's the destination here so I put the destination right and you could say that this could be source or the image and then destination could be the, is the canvas so in the book he lays out some steps he says all right if we want just this eye I'll go over three pixels down 12 pixels and then this is a 64 by 64 image but I'm just going to use a 28 pixel by 28 pixel square okay so now on the destination canvas where do you want to put that eye well let's say we want to put the eye in the upper left hand corner so then he specifies okay zero zero on the canvas right and we're gonna to need to just use up 28 pixels each so now and then the open the end parentheses he also puts this on a separate line so you can see clearly where the the start and the end is and there's the start and there's the end so draw image method and then this is broken out onto separate lines the image the source image x y height and width destination canvas x y height and width and we hit click to run and it's disappeared nice all right what do we have wrong here i know what we've got wrong so you know this could be like a nightmare for a lot of people it's a nightmare for me it doesn't show up so what's wrong here well normally this would be a list of values right but since i broke it onto separate lines i made a mistake 3 comma 12 comma 28 comma 28 and there should be a comma here right so i have an error in this let's see if the code inspector picked up that error let's see here so first of all click to run right we've got an error in the draw image method let's see if the code inspector picked it up inspect and console and uncaught syntax error missing so it's missing the closing so it says hey you never close the parentheses after the argument list on 20 so it sees that there's like a, basically an error and it points me to line 20 in the code but if and you know I probably want to take this way over here right all right so line 20 is right here so it, it actually found the, the line but it's saying hey where's the clothing parent where's the cl it's expecting a closing parentheses because there's no comma here so it does the best it can it says you hey I'm where's the closing parentheses it should be right here right on line 20 but the actual issue is is I needed a comma here and then I can have all of these values 
and then after here is where the closing parentheses goes. So now I hit click to run, and there's our I in the upper left hand corner. So now if you wanted to play with that, and you wanted to let's say, I don't know, get the other I, you could say, well, instead of going three pixels over, right, let's go 31 pixels over and then 12 down, right? And that should be the other eye. But just to make you be able to see it, I'm gonna do a little bit less here. I'll say 28 and then run. And that should be the right eye. And you can see it kind of is the right eye because there's the left eye. Or if I wanted to go right in the middle of the eyes, I could say 20. And you'd see I'd be right in the middle of the eyes. So you can see it depends on what you're trying to draw. So in this case, if we want the whole image, right, the whole image, right, we're starting at zero. On the actual image, we want to use the whole 64 by 64 surface. And on the destination canvas, we also want the same. And so this would give us the whole picture.